been a heck of a game so far. We're in the bottom of the ninth with two outs, an 0-2 count rest on Detroit. Here comes the pitch. Fouled off, chased a wide one. One and two is the count. Detroit's game-winning run sits on third after pulling off a play for the history books. A risky double steal. Nobody's been able to swipe a bag from this defensive powerhouse all season, but Detroit has cracked their code. The runner on third is taking a generous lead off the bag. The pitcher throws over. It's bobbled! Runner's making a break for home! It's gonna be close! He's... He's... Good evening. Francis? Am I, uh... Interrupting something, Jensen? How'd you know where to find me? I know you like to think you're off the grid these days, but I am the one who programmed your Infolink's GPL tracker. Back when I used to work for Sarif. We don't work for Sarif anymore, Francis. Be that as it may. And I distinctly remember telling you never to ping my location again. Except in an emergency. That's how I remember you saying it. A year ago? When the rest of the world thought you were dead and I helped you get out of Alaska. In fact, I seem to recall you adding, and I quote here, I really owe you one, Pritchard. I don't recall saying it quite like that. Well, it just so happens there's something in Prague that I need your help with. Tonight. Kind of busy. Investigating TF-29, I know. But if you help me with this, we're even... I promise. Fine. What do you need? I've been hired to vet a company. A freelance job. Someone in Prague was helping me, but, uh... He's gone radio silent. <laughs> you mean he stopped taking your calls? I tracked the GPL signal on his phone to a bar named Zatopek. I don't know if he's alive or dead. He could have been robbed or decided to get drunk. The only thing I know for sure is that he is jeopardizing my assignment. Why do I get the feeling you're doing more than just vetting a company? He goes by the name Slaw. I need you to find out what happened to him. Send me the address of the bar. Sure, but... As I tried to tell you before you cut me off, you need to be careful. Zatopek Bar is in a pocket of Prague that doesn't take kindly to augmented people. An alley off Klimova Street. They're known to get violent there. Are you warning me because you're concerned for my well-being or because you need me for this job? Just watch yourself, Jensen. Vážně jsme k něčemu dobrý. This is not a policy 
property bank? It is the Palisade Blade Link. Then where the hell is the bank? I do not know the exact stop. You have to look at the metal tag. to see your papers. This doesn't look like a checkpoint. And you don't exactly look like a police officer. And you do not look like someone who is going to pull out a guitar to sing songs about peace and love. Papers, now! Look, civilian. I'm on official Interpol business, and I need to speak to someone in the bar, Zadopek. And I want to live in a world where all Hansers are dead. Looks like we are both going to have to wait for what we want. Now fuck off. This is an og-free zone, and we will shoot any og who enters, even the ones who claim to be working for Interpol. Tell your boss to send someone who is not a Hanser. I said get lost, Krava. Oh, 
Anomaly detected. Trace access granted. some set of balls, Clank. How the fuck did you get in here? This is how you greet all potential customers? You are not a customer. You are just a walking kitchen appliance. You might want to rethink that statement. I'm with Interpol, and I'm looking for someone who's a regular here. Interpol, huh? They giving your kind badges now? I have several regulars. Maybe you can be more specific. He goes by the name Slaw. Yeah, I know him. If he's still here, he's downstairs. After you're done, whatever business you have with him, get the fuck out. Watching that. Due to their involvement in an ongoing securities fraud investigation. Oh, you are in the wrong bar, Og. I'm looking for someone named Slaw. This be me, but I no do business with robots. I'm here on behalf of someone you know from Detroit. Gurva, he sent it robot. I tell him I no do job. He no listen. Here, take this and go. It's worthless now. It'd be flagged missing and no can be reprogrammed. It opened nothing now. Wait, wait a minute. Back up. What are you talking about? What is this? That is Palisade Passport. It'd be combination employee card and VPN key. It'd let your boss make remote connection to protected servers inside Palisade Blade. He needed a virtual private network key for a vetting job. Vetting? I don't know what this means. The job be more like heist of most secure corporate archiving bank in world. He bade me to go inside server room and make connections where he can look at files using passport. Yeah, I see. And how were you supposed to get inside the bank? I worked there. With clean passport, I go places inside. But if I go to wrong place, all the robots and guards come kill me. I don't want it to be die like Simona Saridakis. Who? She be first engineer killed inside. The blade make update to defense system and... Wait, he gitted you to do job for him? Ha! If you are human, I try stop you. Blade is death trap and I care for human life. But, because you are dirty robot, I say go, do it, kill yourself. At the end of day, no one will care.
Look, I get it. You hate me and my kind, but I came here to find you, not get into a debate about what it means to be human. Let's finish up amicably and part ways. Amica, what? You have passport. I must go back to work soon. Our business be finished. Go. Pritchard. I found Slaw. He backed out of your little bank heist. Heist? Jensen, you... You understand he's being dramatic, right? Nothing's being stolen. Did he... give you anything? Yeah, something called a passport. I'll drop it in the mail for you. Don't, Jensen! Look. There's a Converse cafe being built in your area, near the shoreline. Get inside, activate their holographic system, and I'll explain everything. Granted. Was fast. What'd you do? Chuck a grenade and never look back? Let's cut the small talk, Pritchard. What exactly have you gotten yourself into? It's not as bad as you think. My client, that freelance job that I told you about. Go on. You've heard of the Santo Group, haven't you? The European mega corporation that built the Utilet complex, Prague's Aug Ghetto. Yeah, I've heard of them. Then you probably know they're building another complex for Augs in Oman. Only, this one's a city, and it's being hailed as a desert paradise. I'm up on current events, Francis. Well, my client is considering a partnership with Santo. But before going all in, he wants to know two things. Is Rabia feasible? And is the mysterious group that you're trying to stop also involved with the plan? And the Illuminati? Oh, that might grab your attention. To know for sure, though, I need to get a look at some digital files stored inside the Palisade Blade. On servers leased to Santo, Slaw and his passport were going to help me do it, until he chickened out. So you see, Jensen, I really don't intend to steal anything, at least not on my own.
You're right. This isn't a bank heist. It's corporate espionage. The kind of thing your client used to pay us to prevent. I never said David Sauer. You didn't have to. Fine. I'm sure Sarif would be willing to pay you too, if that's what you want. But I would have thought you'd do it on principle. You are the one who's obsessed with the elites and their secrets. What's that supposed to mean? Just that the Palisade Blade is so full of them. Its owners are willing to kill to keep people out. I'm sure Slaw mentioned the defenses. He might have said something. The grounds and offices are patrolled by Tarva Security Services. And wherever the human guards don't go, there are automated defenses. The best automated defenses money can buy. Anyone detected in an unauthorized zone risks getting killed on the spot, as several employees have discovered. How many deaths have there been? The bank owners pay off the families and keep the details out of the papers, so it's difficult to say. The only one they've publicly acknowledged was the first, an engineer named Simona Saradakis. They used her death to promote their security systems, if you can believe that. And I bet it paid off for them. It increased their client base by at least 20%. Look, Jensen, it's safe to say this will involve more than just parkouring through a few lasers. The passport Slaw stole for us. There is no us here, Pritchard. Slaw says the passport's been flagged. It can't be used because it can't be reprogrammed. Slaw's knowledge of the hacking world is limited. There's maybe 50 people out there who can reprogram it. I'm one of them, of course. Of course. But another one is much closer to you. A friend and fellow hacker who goes by the handle Shadow Child. She knows me as Nuclear Snake. Why do I feel like I'm in the middle of a bad screenplay you've written? Okay, look. I can tell you're still on the fence about this. Just bring Shadow Child the passport, and if you really don't want to go any further, I'll find somebody else. Please? Hey, uh, Nuclear Snake. Who exactly is this Shadow Child? I don't know exactly. She's a legendary hacker who's been at it for as long as I have. Maybe longer. We've known each other for years through online chats. Right. Do you trust her? Do I trust anyone? She's helped me out with a few technical glitches in the past. Her code is solid. And very few hackers in the world know as much as she does about the Blade's inner workings. Alright, fine. Give me her address. Apartment 3A at 33 Klimova. It's just minutes away from your current location. You won't regret this. I already do. I'll let her know you're coming. But seriously, think about this opportunity, Jensen. Getting in the blade could result in the mother load of information on the people you are really after. We'll see. Richard, I thought you told your friend I was coming. I did. Well, I'm in her apartment, but nobody seems to be home. That doesn't make any sense. I can see she's online right now. She has to be there somewhere. Keep looking. right now if I were you.
Mr. Jensen. Shadow Child. Lucky for you, Nuclear Snake told me you were coming. Though clearly you're much more skilled than he led me to believe. Clearly he left out a few details about you too. So... You need my help reprogramming something. Something that is supposed to be both time-sensitive and very exciting. Are you joking me? I take it you know what this does. You're making a run for the blade? Nuclear Snake must be working for someone with really deep pockets. It's been flagged as missing. Can you reprogram the security codes? Can I reprogram it? There are only ten hackers in the world who can. And I'm two of them. This is going to take a few minutes. You can wait outside. Here you go. One healthy passport. You do realize this little thing is impossible to get a hold of outside of the blades. I would love to know how you did it. Our mutual friend paid someone who works there to steal it. Really? Who? Was it Amer? Santella? Slaw? It was Slaw, wasn't it? That racist little alcoholic said he would do it for a big price. We can use this against him, you know. We? Oui. Come on. You and Nuclear Snake are making a run for the blades. The most secure corporate archiving facilities in the world. Rippers like me have been trying to break through their lava walls for years, just to get a peek of what's on those servers. You got to let me help. You seem pretty eager. And judging by those camera feeds I saw on your monitors, a bit fixated on the blades. Why? Because information is power, Mr. Jensen. Governments, megacorporations, and the ultra-rich know this better than anyone. Before the blades were built, people could force them to be transparent. Get a court order, file injunctions, and when all else failed, hire rippers like me to hack a server and release their secrets anonymously on the internet. Ripper? That's what we're calling hackers these days? A very skilled, very specialized kind of hacker. Regardless, fear of getting found out kept many a would-be power monger in check. Not anymore. Now, any company, politician, trillionaire or zillionaire with a vault in the blade sleeps comfortably, knowing Masaki Oshiro is protecting them. Masaki Oshiro. This isn't the first time I've heard that name tonight. Of course it isn't. He's the Palisade Bank's CTO. He and his wife, Ashani Talwar, own the corporation. She runs it, and he designs and oversees all of its defenses, the bastard. Apparently you don't like him very much. I hate him. Because he's good at what he does? Because he's an arrogant little shit who's made himself look like a hero to the corporate world while secretly hiring assassins to take out reapers like me. A lot of people have died because of that man. Tell me more about these specialized hackers of yours. What makes them different? You've heard of the neural subnet? NSN machines? I've had some experience with them. Rippers use a black market version to enter a 3D representation of a server's subnet cloud. We look for digital data there, download it, and leave before the server's defenses stop you. Kinda like a smash and grab robbery. No, Mr. Jensen. That's what thugs do. This is data extraction. Real rippers do it to expose the truth and keep the powers that be from exploiting the masses. While making a little money on the side. One must earn a living. It doesn't mean my heart isn't in the right place. So you're a hacker with a cause. Got it. I'm more than that. I saw the malware you hid on that passport. But malware? I didn't hide anything. Then Nuclear Snake paid Slaw to do it for him. Either way, it's a fine piece of code. But it will only work if you actually get inside the server chamber and plug into it. 
I've studied the blade. I know a lot about its defenses. I can help. I don't doubt you can help, but just what did you have in mind? For starters, I know someone who works in the Blade's lobby. Palisade doesn't know it, but they have a Ripper named Baba Yaga 50 working the night shift. And you think he'd be willing to risk his job and jail time for something like this? Our cause is bigger than that, Mr. Jensen. You're trying to screw over the company that all Rippers hate. Getting you in there is a chance you'll take, but after that, you'd be on your own. Palisade has a strict no ogs policy. I want to know more about this malware you found. What's it do? Creates a temporary backdoor through the blade's lava wall. Far as I can tell, it will embed itself on a server as soon as you plug the passport in. Reapers have been trying to punch their way through that lava wall for years. But all this time, we've been looking for weaknesses from outside the system. Nuclear snakes trying a different approach. You're sure he wrote it? Like I said, it's a fine piece of code. I recognize his signature. But ask him yourself if you want to be sure. I'll keep that in mind, should I decide to go any further with this. Right now, it's best you assume that I won't. My lips are sealed. I know how dangerous this is, and I don't want to end up another one of Oshiro's tragic accidents. Meaning? Just do a little digging. You'll find out. Simona Saridakis, all the Rippers who died. The Palisade Bank will stop at nothing to protect its secrets. And until someone gets inside and uncovers the truth, they'll continue to get away with it. I need to get going. Our mutual friend will be checking in any minute now. Say hi to Nukes for me. And, in case you do go in, maybe you could put this on Leona Rosolova's desk. She's the head of engineering inside the Blade. Her office is on the third floor. A figurine. Why? It's personal. She's someone I used to know, but don't anymore. That figurine means something to both of us. Giving it back means something else. Can you do it? I'll take it, but I can't make any promises, since technically I'm not going in. Uh-huh. And now you should be on your way. I reprogrammed the passport in half the time it would have taken our mutual friend to do it, but even so, he's not a patient guy. Be careful in there, Mr. Jensen. Some of those server chambers are equipped with next-gen heat sensors. They'll detect body heat even if your cloaking aug is active. Who says I have a cloaking hog? Who said you're going in? Call me, if you get into trouble. Pritchard, I found Shadow Child. She reprogrammed the passport. And? And I guess I'm doing this. It won't be easy, you know. It's a big facility, with tons of server chambers. If you're thinking about exploring every one of them, looking for clues... You want my help or not? I'll reconnect when I'm inside the Blade. Jensen out. like you are from around here. You should know the truth about the Palisade Corporation. And what truth is that? The billionaires who own it killed my wife in there. Surely you have heard the name Simona Saridakis. Several times, actually. Good. The more you hear, the better. Because Palisade spent billions to bury the truth. There was no investigation of the crime scene. No real justice for my family. Simona worked there for years, and they called her a thief! Then they used her dead body to promote their security features! Why would Simona be inside the computer rooms? What was her job? She was a senior engineer. She worked on the defensive systems. So the traps that killed her, she would have known all about them? Yes, exactly! She was working directly with Oshiro, helping him design security programs. He always gets credit for the lava wall, but much of it was her work too. So many years they worked together. Why would she steal? 
It makes no sense. I assume when you say the billionaires, you mean the Palisades founders. Why do you hold them responsible? On the day she died, Simona said she found something strange that involved her boss, Masaki Yoshiro. She wanted to tell me more, but I was upset. We'd had a fight, and I wasn't ready to listen. I told her to tell me after work, but she never came home. Did you tell the investigators what she said? I did! They ignored me! They said it's not related to the investigation! They said my wife was a thief! She was not a thief! I'm sorry you lost your wife, Mr. Saradakis. But you said there was no investigation after she died. Why not? Privacy laws make it illegal for the police to go inside the computer rooms. That's where those billionaires said she was killed. So all the police could do was examine Simona's workstation and emails, look at IntelliCam footage, and perform an autopsy. Not a lot to go on. What did the footage show? Nothing! They showed Simona walking down some corridors and entering a computer room. But it did not show what happened inside. They said the security systems only kill someone if they walk in forbidden zones. I'm sorry for your loss, Mr. Saradakis, but unfortunately, I have to get going. I understand. Most people just ignore me, but you, you listen. I hope I changed your mind about the Palisade. It's not a wonder of the world. It is a symbol of how the rich and powerful get away with everything, including murder. Calm down. You and I have a mutual friend, Shadow Child. She mentioned that you might be able to help me. I heard someone might come by, but how do I know that you are that someone? You could be anybody. Did this Shadow Child person mention a name or anything? Baba Yaga 50. That is what I was looking for. Why, yes. I see that you have an appointment this evening. Allow me to deactivate the security gate for you. It will just take a second. So, what is your Reaper handle? It's classified. That is such a cool username. Classified. All right. You are good to go. Thanks. Good luck, classified. Extract the data. Expose the truth. You really should not hang around here. Shadow Child's code appears to have worked, Pritchard. I'm inside the blade. Good. I was worried you might get sidetracked by some random civilian in need of a hero. I had several enticing offers, but I turned them all down just for you. Oh, goody. According to construction records, the servers are located at the top of the Blade's funicular, in numbered chambers. We'll have to figure out which one is Santos. A place like this must have a client registry. If so, it would be in the CEO's office. She has an executive suite on the highest level of the atrium. I suggest you look there. Attention all Palisade employees. This is a reminder that the newly installed bays for Tarvos security robots are currently active. We would very much like to avoid a repeat of last week's incident, so we ask that you limit your movement to areas to which you have a lot of security. Thank you. Have a pleasant evening.
Warning. The facility's exterior maintenance hatch is open. Routine maintenance of structure exterior underway. Heard something. We'll report. Říkala, že síť ve skutečnosti řídějí ilumináti. To bylo vtipný. Určitě by skvěle zapadla k nám do týmu. O kolik si řekla? O deset míň, než máme rozpočet. Nabídí jí opět víc. Jestli tady budou další teroristické útoky, bude čím dál těžší dostat do Prahy talentovaný programátory. Tak jo. Diagnostics check. Water temperature fluctuates. Acceptable parameters. Diagnostic sequence complete.
Responding diagnostics check in sector one, one, seven, five, nine. Let me peek at their actual net worth. Uh -huh. They are insanely rich, but it is barely from the money they make from Palisade. Most of it is from investments. Anyone hear that too? How's it going, Slaw? Oh my god. I say mission was impossible, and still you do it, huh? 
We were able to reprogram the passport. And no. Only way you come this far is with good passport. You have augmented balls of steel. Are you gonna be a problem, Slaw? Put your engine in neutral, robot. It'd be better for me if you no get catched now. I can open this security door for you. Not even a robot like you can hack it. Through there, you can move through building out of the open. At least for a little while. You wouldn't be able to tell me which server chamber belongs to Santo, would you? I no get that far in plan. Sorry. Engineers no know which clients are in each chambers. Thanks for the help. Wait. I need you to do me a favor. Like what? After I open door for you, I want you to knock me out. What? I want to look like I fighted you, so people think I be hero. I no want to look like I helped. So when door open, you do it, okay? Okay, this just takes a second. There, door is open. Now hit me! Knock me out, I am here. Do it! Do it now! If you no know, knock Running me out, I hit alarm! Water temperature fluctuation is within acceptable parameters. Stupid fucking robot. You no give me joy. Jensen, have you found the executive suite yet? This involves a little more than just typing on a keyboard, Francis. I'm working on it. Well, work harder. According to my research, the suite was designed to be isolated from the rest of the atrium. I assume it's intended to provide even more privacy. Which means an extra layer of defenses. Exactly. So be careful. Pritchard out. We don't have any indication of maintenance work scheduled in this area until later this evening.
okay picture. Yeah, I just got back from holiday. I forgot the code up. Shadow Child, that thing you wanted me to do in the blade, it's done. One million thank yous. You know, Leona is the head engineer. You might find something useful on her computer. The password is trust no one, or at least it used to be. Thanks. Buona fortuna, Mr. Jensen. Ciao. This is interesting, Pritchard. What? I found a log that says the vacuum defense system in the chamber where Simona Saradakis died might have been manually triggered. Need I remind you that you're there to gain access to Santos' data, not play detective. I suggest you get a move on. Diagnostic sequence complete. systems functioning normally.
exterior maintenance hatch is open. Routine maintenance of structure exterior underway. Hey, what's with all these boxes? the heart to tell him to go Diagnostic away. One of the drawbacks of having my office across from Tarvos' security room. You've been silent for some time, Jensen. Where are you? Getting lonely, Francis. I'm at the funicular. I see. So you found the client registry in the executive suite? Not yet. Are you insane? You'll be looking for the proverbial needle in a haystack without it. I strongly suggest you turn around. Richard, 
Looks like the bank's founders are buying and selling a lot of shell companies and masking the transactions. Okay. How exactly does that help us locate Santos' server chamber? I'm not doing this just for you and your client, Francis. Something else is going on here. I want to know what it is. Besides, I already found the location. Chamber 204. Then why are you not in it yet? Take the funicular. It's the only way up. Richard, you'll be happy to know I'm on the funicular and headed to Santos' server chamber. Good. Once you're inside, all you'll have to do is insert the passport into the server. Don't remove it until I disconnect. The system will track my location if you do. I have to get to the chamber first, Francis. Shadow Child said there are heat sensors that can see me even when cloaked. You know you love a challenge. We're in the bottom of the ninth, Jensen. Time to hit it home. Running diagnostics check. Heat detection system in server chamber air is registering normal temperature Diagnostic. 
bad feeling about this, Pritchard. According to an email I just found, Masaki Oshiro ordered Saradakis to run maintenance in the chamber that killed her. Shadow Child was right, then. There is a lot going on inside that tank. Finish the mission, and we'll see what we can do about it. Okay, Pritchard. The passport's plugged into Santo's server. You getting anything? Hang on. I'm accessing the file to... It's empty. I mean, the data was here, but it's been moved. Looks like to some kind of mainframe. Is Palisade stealing Santos' files? We need to find that mainframe. The data's being sent there through a private workstation. Masaki Oshiro's. The transfer is using micro-connection, so it must be near you. Find it, and you'll find the mainframe. It'll probably require a higher security clearance. I'll upgrade the passport while I'm linked to it. Just give me a second, then you can remove it. Okay, Jensen. I'm out. Voice recognition is ready. Masaki Oshiro. Voice analysis in progress. Unauthorized voice detected. Diagnostic sequence complete. Calm down. I can see the headlight. Masaki Oshiro and his life's work now worthless. Dowd knew everything. He even knew details about Saritakis' death. I think Stanton made a lucky guess and your reaction sealed it. It doesn't matter. We're on their radar now. That's what matters. Not some dead body. But they want complete access to everyone's files. We only look at client files when we make investments. Adding the people that Dowd represents to our insider trading scheme doesn't make it safe. Just think of what we will get in return from them. You're missing the point, Ashani. They'd have total access. Are you still recording? I swear, I don't understand why you insist on... Voice recognition is ready. Masaki Oshiro. Voice analysis in progress. Voice recognition confirmed. Welcome, Mr. Oshiro. Pritchard, Oshiro and Talwar have been engaging in insider trading. That's why data's being moved. I think Simona Saradakis caught on to them. And they killed her to shut her up? The recording I found mentioned a Stanton Dowd who might also be involved. Get me connected to the mainframe. Maybe I can find out more Running when I'm inside. Running diagnostics check. Water temperature fluctuation is within acceptable parameters.
Shadow Child, I've got a situation. I lost contact with Nuclear Snake and the NSN, and the Blade security system fried the passport. What? That... That's bad. Very, very bad. Without the passport signal, our friend's avatar has no way out of the NSN. They'll be able to use its signature to pinpoint his location. Is there something I can do? There's an NSN chair here connected to the mainframe. Really? Yes. I might be able to open a gateway for him, if I hack into the Palisades network using your infolink frequency. You can do that? I might be the only hacker in history who can, but now is not the time for bragging. Just sit in the chair and I'll do the rest. Shadow Child, I'm in. I don't have eyes on Nuclear Snake's avatar. This is incredible. Mr. Jensen, the Palisades mainframe is unlike any NSN server I've seen before. It's... sorry. Okay. From what I can tell, you're in a partition of the mainframe server. I see traces of two avatars in the code. The other one must be our friend. Shadow Child. His avatar is out of reach. Doesn't seem like I can communicate with him. That's because the Palisade's virtual defense systems are interfering with his connections. If you extract the program from the data towers in this server, it should disable the system's hold on him. Sounds easy enough. I took the liberty of applying a few augments to your avatar that may come in handy. In the meantime, I'll work on opening a gateway for him to use as an exit point.
sure as hell hope that's you. Yeah, it's me. Well, this look is an improvement, that's for sure. If it isn't obvious by now, our covert mission is screwed. Every ripper in the world is probably attacking the Blade servers as we speak. Time and options were not on our side. Did you find what we were looking for? Hopefully. I'll know after I start analyzing the files back in the real world. Let's discuss the situation when we're safely out here. Shadow Chow, Nuclear Snake is out. Shadow Chow? Damn it. you are, Mr. Jensen. I lost connection with you for a moment. Are you out of the NSN yet? Yes, and so is Nuclear Snake. Good. I've been working on an escape option for you. There is a maintenance hatch on the underside of the blade. It's a quick exit, but also a long drop to the river. It's that or I leave the way I came in. Fight or fall, I guess. Exactly. Get to your apartment. There are things we need to discuss. Shadow Child, you and I also need to talk. Privately. Okay, Nukes. The mainframe door is open, Mr. Jensen. I'll keep working on getting that exterior hatch unlocked. Thanks. Now, Shadow Child. your help. But how are you still connected to the Blade systems? Just be thankful that I am, and get out while you still can, my friend. We meet again, Mr. Jensen. I see you made yourself at home. You let yourself into my place, I let myself into yours. You know you can tell a lot about a person and by how clean they keep their home when they are not expecting visitors. 
I wonder what the police will think of mine. You're sure they traced you then? It's only a matter of time. What we accomplished tonight, punching through the Palisades' defenses, the Breach is going to help us expose everyone's dirty little secrets. The Breach? You mean you didn't close the hole you made? Why would I? Besides, it's not possible. Word of what we did is spreading through the Darknet like wildfire. Rippers will be attacking the Palisade servers day and night to get at the truth. This is a good thing, Mr. Jensen. It's what we wanted. Really? If Rippers start hacking into the personal accounts of innocent individuals, invading people's privacy, then where does that leave us? That's a line real Rippers will never cross. We only target the people and companies who abuse the masses. And how will you know for certain who those people are? You can't, unless you invade their right to privacy and become like them. Privacy stopped being a right back when everyone started using free email accounts and smartphones. I... <sighs> Look, I could go on a two-hour rant about this subject, but I'm going to stop there. What's done is done. Can't argue with that. Tell me something. Now that you don't have an apartment anymore, what's next? My partner and I are debating. We're either moving to California wine country or Argentina. One thing is for sure though, Shadow Child's time in Europe is over. And now I must go. Nuclear Snake is very upset about the breach. I think I will be mending fences with him for a long time. How do you tell someone like that that they need therapy? You don't. Ciao, Mr. Jensen. Ciao. Well, it looks like you and I made it out cleanly, Jensen. The authorities haven't identified us. The Shadow Child might not be so lucky. She's leaving town. Between you and me, I think she wanted things to trace back to her. There were other options. This was supposed to be a small investigation into Santo. Instead, thanks to her, we're responsible for the Woodstock of hacking. She helped get you out. Regardless, are you forgetting what we found out in there? That Oshiro and Talwar murdered Simona Saradakis to keep their elaborate insider trading scheme from going public? And that this Stanton Dowd person is blackmailing them to get access to every client's files. Did you find anything on him? Only that there isn't much to go on. He's an old money trillionaire who's more skilled at breaking even than he is at making a profit. There must be more, Pritchard. Oshiro seemed especially concerned about the people Dowd represents. If you want me to, I'll keep digging. But right now, we're sitting on an open and shut case against the bank's founders. Except we can't release the evidence ourselves because we obtained it illegally. Precisely. So what do you think we should do about it? What about Simona Saradakis' widower? I ran into him before I went into the Blade. Seriously? Still struggling to make sense of his wife's death. He had a hunch it was foul play. Let's hand the evidence off to his lawyer if he has one. Interesting. It'll certainly wash our hands of the situation. But don't you think Saradakis and the Palisade Bank Corporation will settle out of court? It's not about money for him. He wants to destroy Oshiro and Talwar. This will be the perfect weapon. If you say so. What about you and your client? Did you find anything incriminating in Santos' files? I'm still analyzing them. So far, their plans for Rabia look legitimate. The timetable seems very aggressive, though. It has to be. If the Human Restoration Act passes, a lot of augmented people will have no choice but to move there. That could be good or bad, depending. I just... I hope it doesn't come to that, Jensen. For any of us. Me neither. Well, as enjoyable as this little escapade of yours has been, I need to... To get uh, back to that moody loner thing you do so well. <laughs> I understand completely. Besides, I have a report to file with my client. You know, Jensen, this may be the last time we ever work together. Assuming, of course, you don't get yourself half-killed, saving the world again, and call on me to Goodbye, get Francis.
Take care of yourself. Criminals may have achieved the impossible in Prague earlier this week. A break-in at the most secure data archiving facility in the world. Eyewitness reports of suspicious activity outside one of the Palisade Bank Corporation's iconic blade facilities have been fueling rumors that a break-in occurred. Meanwhile, a local lawyer claims to have new evidence proving that the bank's founders, Ashani Talwar and Masaki Oshiro, may have been behind the death of one of their employees, Simona Saradakis. If true, the husband and wife team have a lot to account for. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. <laughs>